beautiful, well, a little beautiful tour of a lovely property. Um, that yeah. You are connected with in some way. Tell us about the wonderful Karush. Kurush is the world's capital of Cork, uh, so it's a it's a big deal. Uh, it's a very nice city. It's lovely. You'll see Cork all around, of course. You should visit. There's like a great river, and there's a, a river beach there as well. Uh, it's a great historical place, and it's you know close enough to Lisbon to to be able to go and come. Uh, on the weekend, um, and this is something that you know it's really close to my heart. It's a very, uh, I, I mean, I was born here in Lisbon, but this is a place that I just have absolutely fell in love with. I think it's it's very green. It's not like as dry as Alentejo. Uh, it's not as cold as going up north. So it's a very nice balance between everything that the country has to offer, and I just fell in love with the place actually so um, it's kind of bittersweet for you as well isn't it because this is a, this is absolutely yeah. a dream home which may now become somebody else's dream um it's funny how yeah. things turn out isn't it i guess you're a bit busy with family life uh, to put in the, the yeah. investment of time probably for one thing in this beautiful site yeah we were talking carl because i think this was like probably 10 years too soon it was a dream of mine to have a little bit of land and uh have some animals and actually recover like ancient uh species of apples and tomatoes and you know farming things that uh are like not being farmed at all and so i we we actually bought this farm but you know every weekend i have three daughters as some of you may know and just the social life of these creatures I, mean, I cannot with these guys <laughs> seriously so every weekend we have something you know to go to or some party or whatever and yeah. uh, this is such a great land that everything like grows and if you if i don't go like every week or every other week then i have like a whole trof tropical forest over there so uh, it really has to be something that is maintained and it's kind of breaking my heart that I'm leaving it um, not abandoned, but you know, I'm not taking proper care. Yeah. So we've decided to, to part ways with it. I mean, maybe in 10 years time, we'll look into it again, but now it's just not my, I'm just not at the life stage where I can take good care of it because we were thinking about investing and doing like an AL or like for yoga retreats oh, wow. it's great for mushroom farming i mean it has so much potential but i just cannot dedicate myself to it right now and well, so i feel really bad about making you talk about it but i think no, it's, that's fine. You, 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 it's a real dream dream of a place um and I think it is you, you know it could be for somebody else now and yet we totally get the the, the predicament uh, you that you described there it does need some um some sort of vigilant care doesn't it a small it farm, two hectares of land already planted with fruit trees of various species and olive trees which can be harvested in exchange for olive oil at the local lagar this farm has a solar panel traditional bread oven swimming pool storage room and other facilities so oh, look at this yeah. it's beautifully done so you have it, you are some way through a renovation of the place Yes, we did that. This was like one of our first projects that we did uh, in terms of renovation. You know, I have a construction company and this was like, it, since it was for, for, for us, it was like, you know, a first experiment and it went really well. Uh, we chose everything like the, the way, I mean, this floor we like ordered from five different stores across the country. But um, it went really well. We just we just remodeled what was there. It wasn't like a ruin, but uh, it wasn't uh, you know updated. It didn't have a bathroom and such. And we remodeled it. Uh, and we actually spent one of the lockdowns in there, which was absolutely <laughs> great because we were like playing tennis and swimming and whatever, and everybody was locked locked inside their houses. Yeah. And this has like this this warehouse which can be reconverted. And that was our idea at the at the start to, to another house or you know another another uh, complex that you can use in in other ways. And so we just don't have really don't have the time. So if anybody wants to have a great farm, a very 
uh, some place that has all the love in the world, as you can see, please reach out um, and we'll, we'll go and see it and we'll show it off to you guys. But it's in a great place. It's 45 minutes away from Lisbon. So it's very, and the roads are like straight away. There's like one curve <laughs> up until you get there um because i don't like driving so it had to be really close to to lisbon right. so ah and, and it's a great there's a great actually a great potential there because it's uh meanwhile while they don't close the doors on the golden visa it's uh eligible for the golden visa at the 20 percent discount because uh, it's in an interior area and in a low density area yeah okay how lovely thank you for sharing that um thank that you well, that's many people's dream, I think, isn't it? Having a little small holding yeah. where you can grow your own food. I, I imagine there are boreholes and wells there as well, are there? Yes, yeah. yes. There's water abundantly, so no worries about that. There's, you know, the land is great. There's water. There, there's literally everything. You, you, if you want something off grid, it's possible too. So, amazing, amazing. Very How adaptable. Amazing. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, we're, we're, we're warming up tonight. Actually, you, you are your own warm up act because you'll be talking <laughs> about how to start a business uh, here in Portugal. And uh, yeah. I, th I think we have people here who will be asking you questions. Darren wanted to know a thing or two about uh, having your own fiscal representative, tax accountant, and that sort of thing, which is a little bit different to what he's used to in the UK. And Ubi, I think, will be interested in uh, many of the things that will be said here this evening. Um, that, although that's a little bit familiar, Ubi. Well, oh, oh, boy, howdy, seeing the farm maybe there. He, he fancies himself as a bit of a rancher on that mm -hmm. thing. There. Um, Amorim, he, he recognized as, yeah, big cork area, of course. And the Global yeah. Nobles. Global Nobles, did you like the look of that? As a, as a little bit of a rural getaway, just 45 minutes from Lisbon. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, Rewatch the start of the show. Um, if you want to see that again, or, or I'm sure Raquel or myself can send you some uh, brochures and further pictures as well. Let's bring on the other star of the show this evening and say good evening now to Steve Stephen Stephen White of Home Miners Property Investment.